Hi folks, this is Kramer O from Achievers Horizon channel. Today we continue our lab, the DC Comics lab. This is the last video which, uh, in this uh, playlist. Uh, this is number 13th video. Okay, the, as I said before, this is the last video in the uh, DC Comics uh, lab playlist. Uh, in the previous video, we have been discussing. Uh, uh, we have created a script okay to import PC names uh, and their correspondent MAC addresses in the DHCP allow filter okay this is an option in the DHCP uh, to allow certain PCs uh, to get an IP address according to their network card MAC addresses okay so we have added 52 network card MAC addresses for 52 PCs okay just preparing our uh, the rest of the PCs to be uh, deployed uh, using the Microsoft deployment database which we will discuss we have discussed before in the previous video here we are saying or the second thing that we have created a Microsoft deployment database and we create database, ru uh, database rules the main uh, option or the main function of the Microsoft deployment database is to automate the process of PC naming as we know that when we install or when we apply the Windows 10 uh, image uh, the PC before joining the domain need to have a name so to automate this process we have make a database and we will insert uh, a PC name in it and this PC name will be given according to the network card MAC address of this workstation so we have created a Microsoft deployment database and we have create database rules and then we have create an entry in the database for a PC name and its MAC address and then we use this entry to automate the PC naming during the deployment of the capture image taken from another video and then we have begun the process of the deployment with the aid of the Microsoft deployment database we have begun the process the previous video and we have a bug or we have uh, an issue that the name was not uh, the the workstation was not giving the correct name okay and we show you all how to fix this problem but anyway we'll have a quick look uh, on what we have done in the previous video no just this not this is this is not this diagram here we have the workstations names okay and their MAC addresses and we will have it in an Excel sheet or CSV file and then we will make a script this script will read the PC names and uh, network card MAC addresses and then add them to the DHCP allow filters and we'll put them in the DHCP uh, configuration okay this is the first thing and then the second thing we will have the same concept we will have also PC names and their uh, correspondent network card MAC addresses this is also will be an, in a CSV or Excel sheet and then we will have a script that will add these uh, these workstations uh, names and their correspondent MAC addresses in the Microsoft deployment database so if any PC uh, has a deployment process he will take the name automatically from the Microsoft deployment database so what will happen we will have a PC that doesn't have any the operating system installed on it and it and it, it has a hard disk that it, it, it that is it is not partitioned yet we will power it on and then it will ask or it will try to get an IP address from the DHCP the first thing the DHCP will verify or will check if this uh, PC is allowed to take an IP address by checking its uh, MAC address in its allow filter uh, table so if its MAC address or or if the MAC address of its network cards uh, network card it is in the allowed table or in the allowed uh, filter entry it will allow it to get an IP address so it will get an IP address and then it will boot in the system PIXI boot mode uh, after uh, uh, booting this mode the DHCP will give it the IP address of the Windows deployment services this is the server that will uh, continue the process of the deployment of uh, the Windows 10 image captured image so it will now go to the Windows deployment server and then the Windows deployment server will initiate the boot image okay this boot image is used to display Microsoft deployment process and progress and then in the background uh, we will access the deployment share and then we will begin applying the task of deploy Windows 10 LTSC capture image the one that we have taken not the previous video the the one before it and then before applying the task it should check the database and see if this MAC address of this network card has an, uh, an associated name 
and it will take the name from database automatically and then after taking the name it will deploy the the captured image and at the end we will have a PC that is joining the domain and it has taken a name okay uh, but actually we have stopped at uh, the phase that we have already deployed the uh, captured image but we are uh, we need to see the result because the result uh, will be a little bit different because the PC name will not be correct we sh uh, in the previous video we have given this PC a name called PC DC01 according to it to it uh, to its network card MAC address and this is inserted already in the database but after we deployed the capture image we can see that the PC name is not the same that we have inserted in the database so we'll see how we can fix this issue so let's begin here we have stopped here we will see that the, the image here we have deployed the image and then we should now uh, join the domain or so, sorry it's now the PC the, the the captured image has been deployed and we are now currently logged in with the local administrator uh, user account we will restart the workstation and then log into the domain this already this PC has already joined the domain but we need uh, to log in with an active directory user account not the local administrator account actually before doing this we need to uh, check if uh, the uh, default uh, folders for the user profile is redirected to uh, redirected to DMI documents this is one of the things that we have done before taking an image uh, for this uh, workstation or before capturing an image so we will just right click every folder and check the location this is a very critical uh, process you need to do it one by one step by step do not uh, skip it because uh, if you skip it uh, the folders will not be created you need to do it for two purposes first of all to make sure that the folders are redirected and uh, to redirect it as well okay jo just don't be confused please make sure that you check uh, the location for every uh, folder for every folder uh, for the user's profile by right click properties and then see the location of uh, the default folder for example for the desktop for the downloads for documents for pictures for videos for pictures and for music and for downloads every one of them you should right click and uh, properties and then location you should do this okay for two purposes first of all to make sure that they are redirected and the second uh, reason because uh, sometimes the redirection is not done uh, automatically or it or, uh, or actually the redirection will not be completed unless you do this process what I mean that you need to right click and uh, every folder or every user uh, default folders uh, right click properties and see the location to make sure that it is redirected okay and to complete the process of redirection anyway you need you need to do this step okay you need to right click the desktop the downloads the documents the pictures the videos the music right click properties and locations so the folders are redirected from the C to D my documents okay this is a very critical issue so anyway now we are logged in to this uh, workstation using the local administrator so we need to restart and then log in uh, with the Active Directory user account to see if the, this PC or this workstation is named according to uh, the record that we have inserted in the Microsoft deployment database anyway now we have checked that all of the default user profile uh, documents or uh, folders are redirected to DMI documents now we'll make a restart
so now we have restarted the, the workstation and as we see when we uh, make control alt delete we can see the welcome screen for the domain DC comics this is the welcome or the uh, warning message then we will log in using the uh, uh, my active directory uh, user account and we will see if the PC name is given correctly I think we need to pass it quickly because we don't need to see all of this. So here we can see that this is the background of our uh, domain. We can see that uh, here is the name of the PC. It's given WinFQ. This is not the name that we intended. Uh, or that we have planned to give it to this workstation according to its MAC address uh, and this is already inserted in the Microsoft deployment database so there is a bug or there is a problem so uh, here I'm using a small tool called pin uh, something that you can uh, 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 mark something on the screen this is a very useful program it's called pin uh, epic okay so here I will show you all just a minute so here we can see this is the pen epic pen here with this software you can uh, mark anything on the screen okay so here I am just typing that this is not the correct name okay I am a little bit slow because I am uh, uh, not typing it I am uh, drawing it so it's a good utility there is uh, a free version of it you can use it I can use this option you can type a text you can uh, draw on the screen uh, this the, the free version that you can use small options from it like this option that I am using now but the, the pro version of it you can type text uh, using text uh, box or something okay so here this name is not correct we can check the Microsoft deployment database you can see that uh, we have already we have already uh, type in the correct uh, MAC address for this workstation but actually it didn't take the name that we have already uh, planned or we have already decided we will check this now so here we will go here we can see first that this is the MAC address for PC DC01 which is the end it is uh, a 0E okay we will check now in the Microsoft deployment database and make sure that this is the correct uh, MAC address so here we go to computers and then we will as you can see here that the correct MAC address here you can see that th this is are the same so you can see that the name is correct but and also the MAC address is correct so everything is correct okay but there is a problem that the name was not given PC DC01 okay what is the issue with this uh, or why this happened this is a bug a known issue or a known uh, let me here return back and I show you what is the fix here okay this is a known issue by the Microsoft deployment uh, a database okay the first record inserted in the Microsoft deployment database always have an issue uh, it's not uh, implemented correctly so uh, to have uh, fix or to fix the PC naming issue uh, concerning the Microsoft deployment database you need to create a second record with another PC name and another MAC address and the second record will be implemented uh, correctly and uh, you will not have this issue
it's only or this happens only with the first inserted database or the first inserted record in the Microsoft deployment database we will see now I have already inserted another PC okay with PC DC02 and give it a MAC address we will see when we deploy uh, this PC okay we will see that it will take uh, the correct name okay we will create another virtual machine and we will uh, and it will have it its network card its network card will be this mac address we will see when we deploy again the capture image you will see that everything will work correctly and the name of the pc will be uh, done uh, and will be uh, it will, will the pc name will be done automatically and it will be correctly this time so let's see now So now here I'm typing the here because I don't have uh, a way for uh, for typing or for texting or for uh, writing on the screen. So I'm just opening uh, opening a text file and then I will write. Okay, there is a problem. There is an issue with MDT database. Okay first record PC record okay okay created in it the name of the PC after uh, deploying deploying the image or the captured image is different than what is in the database record okay and we have seen this okay from a couple of seconds that is a bug okay in the uh, MDT database I solved it okay before by creating as I said before this is an issue only that will appear with the first inserted database record with the p the first pc name and uh, mac address so here we create a second record with a second pc and it worked correctly now we will see how this is done we will make a small test we will uh, create a new virtual machine with uh, a certain mac address and we will see if the pc name will be given automatically uh, correctly this time or not okay this it took me a lot of time actually searching the internet and it was not an obvious uh, obvious uh, sorry obvi eh? obvious or it's not uh, obvious sorry it's not obvious because this is this is the spelling or this is the pronunciation it's, it's what it was not obvious okay so uh, I searched a lot until I found this error in some of the forums so here this is the second PC that we will uh, the second record we have inserted in the Microsoft deployment database this is the PC name it will be PCDC02 and this is the MAC address of its network card so we will create a second virtual machine first of all we will uh, shut down this uh, uh, workstation and then we will delete the virtual machine as a whole okay here we can see that the name is completely it's something like uh, uh, here is the PC name it's not correct okay you can see that it's uh, an anonymous or it is uh, a random name given by the Windows this is not uh, the one that we need I said before this uh, program is called epic pen it's very useful but actually I'm using only uh, a portion of it because the free version uh, doesn't give me all of the options activated so I'm only using uh, the pen so I can uh, mark on the screen okay so anyway now we will go and uh, we will delete this PC DC01 virtual machine and we will create a new one will create a new one and we'll call it PCDC02 and uh, this uh, new virtual machine which is named PCDC02 will have a certain MAC address this MAC address we have already inserted in the Microsoft deployment database and we told him to give it the name PCDC02 so we will see if what we have done 
uh, will be uh, done correctly this time and the PCNM will be uh, applied automatically and correctly okay so now we are just delete the virtual machine and then we'll create a new virtual machine next and then we give it PC DC02 and then we will uh, tell him to this is gener generation one we have discussed this option before and they will give it a RAM of 2 GB of RAM and you know dynamic memory allocation and we will put it on the uh, DC internal switch okay this is a switch that all of our uh, virtual machines are attached to it and we'll give it a hard disk of 200 gigabyte and then we tell him install operating system from network based installation server which is Windows deployment services server okay so now we have uh, we have created the virtual machine and we have or we already know the MAC address of it so I will just connect and then try to see if uh, uh, to see if it will uh, boot in the PIXI boot mode and it will uh, get an IP address and it will begin deployment you remember that we have already added uh, this MAC address to the P P DHCP allowed uh, filters and we have already added this MAC address in the Microsoft deployment database and we have a name uh, inserted in front of this MAC address which is PCDC02 okay so we need to make sure here we can see it's 0F this is the MAC address of our uh, that we have added in our DHCP allow filter and this is also the MAC address that we have added in the Microsoft de deployment database and in front of in, and in front of it uh, sorry and in front of it sorry and in front uh, of it we should give uh, this network card MAC address a PC name of PCDC02 so we will see now if we succeed or not here we can see that the deployment process is running okay and we are not asked uh, to give a PC name or to input a PC name and our task is deploy, uh, deployed automatically which is task uh, for deployment of uh, Windows 10 capture image so now we can see here in the monitoring that the PCDC uh, deployment is running okay so now we need to make sure that the PC is given the name that we uh, have already inserted in the database so first of all it will uh, the PC will join the domain uh, but we are logged in for the first time with the local administrator account so we need to restart and login with an active directory account here I am checking the terminals to see if the PC DC02 will be added here because we have already told him that in the script to when the PC join the domain we will put it in this organizational unit okay so he should create a PC ob object with name PC DC02 and added it to this organizational unit so still uh, the PC is not joined the domain yet so it's uh, the object is not created and, and, and it is not added to this organizational unit so we will wait So now we make a refresh just to make sure uh, that the PC DC02 appears here but still uh, the joining of the domain process for the workstation is not uh, implemented or it is not uh, executed yet here we have two we have this uh, PC we need to uh, this is the one uh, which was named uh, not correctly so we will delete it anyway here we can see that PC DC02 appears so the PC have joined the domain and successfully it was given the correct name okay and then we will go and check by ourselves we will go and uh, log in to the domain uh, sorry login with an active directory user account 
OK on this workstation and see the PC name uh, if it is correct or not but here from the uh, joining process and from the computer object we can see that it has already named the PC correctly and we didn't uh, put or we didn't uh, uh, make an input during the deployment process for the PC name it was uh, it was uh, drawn automatically or it was it, it was uh, uh, the PC was got uh, name was got automatically from the data the, 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 the sorry the database directly okay anyway we will check and see now but I need to make or I just need to assure you first that uh, here okay we will log in first with the local administrator account okay I have already a group policy uh, to disable the local administrator as soon as this workstation join the domain but I have disabled this uh, option for now because it was making some problems but anyway you need to activate it uh, as soon as your workstations all of them are deployed okay anyway we will wait for a couple of seconds until the deployment uh, uh, process finish and then after that we will restart and join this time with an active directory user account not uh, uh, the local administrator account okay and this PC was joining the domain uh, by a powerful uh, user which is called Microsoft deployment or Microsoft deploy user this user uh, acts like a domain admin so it has the privileges to join this workstation to the domain we have done this in a previous video anyway we need to make sure, as I said before, we need to make sure that all of the uh, default user uh, folders profile, okay, or the default user uh, Windows folder profiles are redirected to DMI documents. I have discussed this in a previous video. So we need to right click every uh, folder and see if it was redirected to DMI documents. And I will show you all something here if we open data we can see the folder of my documents but uh, in it okay we can see here that if you open my documents you can see only desktop folder is redirected but here is the magic that will happen as soon as you make properties for downloads for example this is also default user windows uh, folder profile uh, folder and location and okay now the do downloads are uh, redirected and then we can open also pictures or documents and then as, as soon as you check the location the folder is redirected automatically so we need to do this process the first time we log in with the local administrator account or any uh, user that have admin rights on this workstation so we can complete the process of redirecting of the uh, default Windows 10 user uh, uh, folders the default Windows 10 uh, folders profile okay so here we can see now that we have redirected all of the folders and then we need to wait for a couple of seconds until the deployment process successful uh, screen or the installation finish of the installation deployment process is displayed and then we will restart and see if the PC name is correct or not so it's a very important issue to check the uh, Windows 10 user uh, folders user to check Windows 10 user uh, folder profiles okay and check the location anyway so now the process of the deployment is still uh, running it will take a couple of minutes and at the end we will restart and uh, log in on this workstation not by the local administrator account but by an active directory user account I will log in with my uh, domain admin account and we will see if the PC name is correct or not
so now the deployment process is uh, completing remember the the process of uh, checking the Windows 10 uh, user uh, default folders profile is very important because we have done this tweak be before in a previous video so we need uh, to make sure that th this tweak is correct our tweak is to move the Windows 10 user uh, profile default folders from C users uh, username and the folder or the default uh, user profile folders to D my documents okay please prefer to my uh, video concerning the redirection of the Windows 10 user uh, folder uh, profile or Windows 10 user uh, uh, folder default folders profile okay so anyway now we were uh, still the deployment process is not finished So now we can see that the deployment process is finished and it is successfully there is no errors and no warnings so now we'll, we will restart uh, the workstation and join or uh, oh sorry and log in to this workstation using an active directory user account to see if uh, the PC name will be given this time correctly or not so let's continue here we have our deployment uh, process finished success successfully without an errors or warnings so now we need to restart the workstation and join or uh, log into this PC uh, with an active directory user account and then we can see or we will notice uh, the changes we will see the background of our uh, uh, DC comics uh, domain and you can see our login script uh, applied uh, after the login script applied we can see the English language and Arabic language inserted and uh, the search icon will be hidden and the time zone will be uh, changed to Cairo zone we have discussed this in the first video concerning this playlist or when we begin this playlist this was discussed in the first video from this series okay Anyway, I have cancelled the Pixie boot option. Okay, so we can uh, boot normally in the Windows uh, or boot normally to the Windows 10 operating system. Here's just an option from the setting of the virtual machine to make the integration between the guest and the host compl uh, complete or uh, so not having issues between the integration between the host and the guest or between the virtual machine and the physical machine you need to enable the guest services in the setting of the virtual machine okay so now we have restarted our workstation and we will join it or sorry or and sorry and we will uh, log in to this workstation by using an active directory user account and we will see the changes and we will see if the pc naming is done correctly this time or not but we have already uh, had a successful indication from the active directory uh, organizational unit terminals this organizational unit contains the all of the workstations or the PCs of the domain and when a workstation joined the domain 
it should be uh, added to this organizational unit and we have seen that uh, a, a computer object uh, a computer object called dc pc dc02 was added successfully to this organizational unit so this means that the naming process is done successfully but we will not uh, uh, we will not uh, believe this until we see it with uh, with our own eyes we will go and log in with an active directory user account and see if the name of the PC is done correctly okay now we will control alt delete and then we will go to the uh, this is the welcome screen or this is the notification or the warning message screen when we here we can see that for a moment that the PC name is PC DC02 but anyway we will now access this workstation or log into this workstation by my Active Directory user account. <laughs> Here we can see that the name of the PC is PC DC02. So we have successfully implemented the name. The name was given automatically and it was named correctly but still the login script uh, is not uh, done uh, completely so we restart the machine again so we can see the English language and Arabic language added and the search toolbar uh, uh, disappearing or hidden and the rest of the login script uh, user login script to be implemented I have discussed this before in the first video in this series anyway the PC naming is correct so we have successfully uh, deployed the captured image and the PC name was given automatically through uh, using or through taking it from the Microsoft deployment database and we have already uh, uh, created or inserted a record by the PC name and its correspondent uh, MAC address or network card MAC address this is done manually so we will I will show you all also in this video how we can import or how we can insert a bulk of records uh, with uh, uh, a bulk of PC names and their correspondent MAC addresses so we will not uh, create records in the Microsoft deployment database manually we will create it uh, using a script and we will not create only one record with one PC name and its correspondent MAC address we will create a bunch or a, a large number of PC names and their, and their correspondent MAC addresses I will show you all the, the way but here we have restarted the workstation again think we can pass this real quickly anyway so now we can see that the English language was added at the bottom of the screen and the uh, timing zone was uh, changed to Cairo time zone I have recorded this video at 11 uh, a.m. in the morning at, at uh, 7th of November 2019 and we can see here that all of our uh, department shares and our uh, user home folder directory share is crea is uh, is appearing all of them are appearing and working perfectly so uh, and the, f the, the f default user uh, profile folders are redirected so we have everything done successfully and we have our uh, deployment process uh, completed successfully and the name was given successfully we can see everything is working perfectly so now we will shut down we have already finished this process okay so here I am shutting down the machine and here we can see in the monitoring tool that 
we have PCDC02 applied and also PCDC01 applied okay this is the monitoring tool in the Microsoft deployment toolkit and here I will change the boot option or the pixie boot options to require F12 when uh, when to access the pixie boot mode because we have already finished the deployment as i said before i had a problem with uh, pressing f12 so i was using uh, the the third option to enter the pixie boot unless i press escape so after finishing the deployment i return it back to press f12 to uh, to enter the pixie boot mode anyway so now we have our uh, deployment done successfully i will go to the deployment logs okay we have a folder called the deployment logs this folder contains the log uh, for every deployment process uh, we we do it through the microsoft deployment console okay here i'm just checking if there is any errors in the logs okay okay uh, there is something called zti gathered log this log contains all of the information concerning uh, the workstation it gathers information very useful information okay uh, this information concerns the mac address uh, and a lot of uh, important info uh, the serial uh, of the motherboard and a lot of things so you can use this for uh, this log which is called uh, zti gather log okay this is in the folder of the d deployment logs this is the folder that contains the logs for the deployment process every uh, deployment process or every pc that it is de that is deployed it will be uh, its log will be uh, put in deployment logs and under a folder by the name of the pc okay so here we can see zti log that the log we can get here information concerning everything concerning this pc through a log called gather log this contains the serial number of the motherboard and a lot of uh, important information okay so this is uh, good okay anyway now we have finished finally we have finished uh, the lab okay but i has promised you all also on how we can uh, import or we had we can uh, create a lot or create multiple records in the microsoft deployment database for multiple pc names with their correspondent uh, mac addresses anyway we will have an excel sheet or we have a csv file we need to have these fields in it okay we will have the name field and something called uuid I will show you all what is the meaning of UUID and then we have okay just a minute and then we have the MAC address of the network card and I have discussed this before and we have something called make this is the company that have uh, made the PC it's IBM and this is the model okay I have uh, Lenovo so I have uh, multiple models and the same company and this is the mac address and this is the uuid and this is the pc name we will not only insert the mac address but we will insert uh, the company that has made the pc and the model okay and something called uuid okay and finally the pc name so the pc name will be given according to the mac address and we will not only insert the mac address we will insert a couple of things uh, a company or uh, we will insert uh, multiple information fields okay okay but the main issue here that as soon as the microsoft deployment database see this network card mac address it will give the workstation with this mac address this pc name okay so first of all to uh, uh, for the script to work we need to have or for the script that will uh, insert multiple uh, records in the microsoft deployment database so we can uh, deploy uh, a number of pcs once okay we need to have a csv file with this information okay i can show you here a graph here we will have the pc names we have we need to have an excel sheet that have the pc name and i show i have showed you this and the mac addresses and the uuid and the uh, uh, company that had made the PC and the model all of this will be inserted in a CSV file and then we will do uh, something from the PowerShell okay uh, a multiple of commands so we can uh, after using these commands we will see that we will have multiple records inserted in the Microsoft deployment database okay so first of all as I said before we need to have an Excel sheet this is the one that we have had already and we will name it computers mdt.csv and then we need to have uh, the microsoft deployment database powershell module i have already downloaded from the internet 
this is the Microsoft uh, deployment database uh, PowerShell module okay how then so we need the uh, CSV file and we need the Microsoft deployment database power module uh, PowerShell module okay so after that we will need to go and uh, go to the PowerShell okay but just a minute here for example here is the let me show you all so here we will copy the file here okay paste and then I need okay so here we will go to the uh, PowerShell where is the PowerShell okay and then run as administrator okay and then we need to go to access this folder or to go to this folder through the PowerShell so we'll tell him CD this is will go one folder uh, backwards and then CD one folder backward and then we have CD uh, users okay I need to go to my desktop so you know, you know all the desktop it is under CD users and then CD the username which is Karim this is my name and then CD desktop of Karim okay and then we will go CD MD db okay so after going to this what we will do we will go and tell him to import the module okay we have already this module in this folder and after that after we import the module we will connect to the microsoft deployment database we will put our server name or the server that has sql 2016 installed on it which is dc dc02 this is our second domain controller and the microsoft deployment database its name it's mdt okay and then after that we'll tell him to import this file this file is called uh, computers mdt.csv okay so we are telling him to import this file it's say here it's not care of here will be kareem desktop whatsoever let's go here like kareem okay K R E M okay so he will import I will put for example this file here just to watch the moment I will go here and copy this okay I will copy it okay and put it here in this folder paste so here I'm telling him to okay to go the desktop and then mdt db slash so here I'm telling him to import this uh, Excel sheet or this file that contains the computer name and the UUID and the MAC address and the, ma and the make and the model as here as we said before all of this information are in this Excel sheet or in this file so I'm telling him to import this file okay to the uh, PowerShell okay and then after that the last line we will tell him to execute this last line after executing this last line when you open the microsoft deployment database you will see that all of these computers okay you will see for example here we have three records we will see three records with three pc names and three mac addresses and three uuid and three uh, models three models and three uh, companies uh, that had made this uh, this uh, pc okay so this is simply what we will do so first of all we need to uh, have this uh, module okay have import module we have this module we have already downloaded from the internet i have already this module in a google drive link under the description of the video so we will import the microsoft deployment database a powershell module in the powershell and then we will connect to the microsoft uh, uh, microsoft mdt database okay by this command and then we will have an excel sheet that should be important to this PowerShell and this Excel sheet I have said before it contains some information and at the end the last line we will take or will import what is in this uh, Excel sheet in the Microsoft deployment database so this is simply what we will do this is very simple we need to have an Excel sheet and I have uh, our CSV file I have showed you all and then we need to have the module of the Microsoft deployment database PowerShell module and I have already downloaded it in a folder and this is how we can import uh, uh, a lot of or may uh, or insert a lot of uh, database records with PC names and uh, a lot of information just final thing to discuss we need to know what is 
the UUID so we need to make sure what is a UID a UID is a 20 uh, 128 number used to identify information in computer systems the term globally unique and the file is also used typically a software created by microsoft when, ge when generated according to the standard methods uia are practical are for practical purpose unique okay let's here go to wikipedia because this is much more better so because not, i don't know a uid okay when generate according to standard UID are practical uh, purpose unique their uniqueness does not depend on central registration authority or coordination between the parties generating them unlike most other numbering schemes while the probability that UID will be duplicated is not zero it is close enough to zero to be negligible though anyone can create a UID and use it to identify something with nearly certainty that identifiers do not duplicate ones okay so here it's telling that, that it is uh, a number 128 bit number that it is used to identify computer systems okay so to identify our windows for example i think we have a uuid okay so or the, so to identify our windows 10 operating system we have something called uuid so every workstation when the windows is installed on it it will have a uuid okay i think this is what is mean anyway so i have showed you all how to uh, uh, fix the problem of uh, the Microsoft deployment database uh, naming how to fix the Microsoft uh, deployment database naming uh, issue and I showed you how to do this and how to import uh, a lot of records in the Microsoft deployment database so you can create uh, multiple PCs with multiple names so I hope this uh, series as a whole the DC Comics Labs is uh, is very useful for you and you have enjoyed it and if there are any comments please leave it in the description uh, section and until I see you all in the I will make another video which, which is a final review of the whole uh, l uh, the whole playlist okay and then after that we will begin a completely new lab so until I see you all this lab will concern Microsoft uh, Azure so until i see you all the next video uh, for the review and then after that the beginning of a new uh, series which is microsoft azure hope this video was informative for you all and i would i would like you all i would like to thank you all for viewing thank you